One thing I found with Mankind Divided is that at the start, the plot progresses so slowly that I found myself not really caring about what was going on. But this isn't really the story's fault. If you actually do go after the story, it chugs along at a good clip, weaves its web of conspiracy around you as you get caught in it struggling to find the truth as the web closes around you. Or, more likely, you're down the street from the big conspiracy web, robbing yet another apartment for stim packs and gumballs. Mankind Divided drops you into Prague, and then gives you a pretty big city to play with, and hundreds of little corners and secrets to explore. You can spend hours poking around in apartments and sewers and bank vaults, building up giant piles of candy, ammo and praxis points that, frankly, you don't really need? The problem is, and this is a weird thing to call a problem, but the problem is that the game encourages you to explore. But Cypro! You proclaim with vim and vigor. How is this a problem? Deus Ex has always had a lot of the exploration. Surely encouraging you to do so is a good thing. Yes and no. Basically, the game rewards you too much for exploring. Every time you break into a place, you're basically guaranteed to get experience, credits, and items with basically zero costs except your own time. Even when the places you go are restricted, it's usually laughably easy to get around the guards. And that's without the upgrade that makes you literally invisible. Now, it's true that you as a player can simply choose not to spend all your time being a robot burglar butthead, but let's talk about player training. Here's what happened to me the moment I stepped out of Jensen's apartment at the start of the game. I walked up to my neighbor's door, to which no one reacted. I entered his home and started poking around, to which no one reacted. I found his secret stash beneath a loose floorboard and stole his life savings and an extremely valuable Praxis kit while he was looking right at me and no one reacted. The game had immediately taught me, just poke around in everyone's business and not only will you not be punished, but you will be handsomely rewarded. And that became the game for me. And while this is pretty fun, it's not what the game is about. Deus Ex is meant to be about transhumanism and worldwide conspiracy, not petty theft. Adam Jensen is meant to be the herald of a new age of humanity, not a diesel-powered dick. The mechanisms of the game work at odds with the narrative. The story says, be the mechanical messiah, but the game mechanics say, yeah, just steal shit, it's fine. And in a game, the player will almost always bow to the mechanics first. One of the biggest ways a game tells a player what to do is through its reward structure. If the game keeps throwing candy at you when you break into places, you're gonna keep breaking into places. Just like if the game gives you more experience for taking guys out non-lethally, you're gonna take them out non-lethally. It's the same thing. Now. This wouldn't be such an issue if there was more story stuff tucked away in these corners. Sure, you've got newspapers and iPads to read and learn a bit about the setting, but again, these things enrich the setting, not the story. Occasionally you find a side quest or something, but the vast bulk of what you're trawling through has nothing to do with anything, even when it feels like it should. Occasionally you'll find something that seems super important to the plot. For instance, at one point I heard a big explosion off in the distance, so I put on my police hat and ran down there to find... nothing. There was a bit of a fire and some civilians standing around, and then there was a police officer telling me to move along. Like, this seems like a giant missed opportunity, doesn't it? I wanted to tell people to move along. Another time, I was breaking into someone's apartment, as you do, and going through his sock drawer, as you do, 
when I noticed that the guy kept pictures of me and Alex Vance in his bathroom. Now, either this guy was investigating us, or he was using those pictures for purposes not suitable for polite conversation, but either way, this potential plot thread doesn't just end nowhere, it doesn't even begin anywhere. I'm looking at his bathroom thinking, surely this is important somehow. But the game says, nope, but here's some painkillers. Furthermore, all your exploration can mess up future plot threads. For instance, at one point, a choice was thrust on me, to break into a bank or to confront a cult of silly buggers. And my robot buddy said, if I deal with a cult, she couldn't possibly break into the bank on her own. Lady, yes you can. I've been there. There are no guards left. You can just walk right in. The thing is, this whole chronic exploration problem is really easy to fix. The way you stop someone from spending all their time lifting up your couch to look for biscuit crumbs is with two little words. Red text. Plenty of games have done this. Skyrim, Fallout, Pillars of Eternity and plenty of others besides. All you need to do to rein in a player's rampant kleptomania is for the game to say, yeah, I see you, I see what you're doing there. Tell the player that what they're doing is wrong, and the vast majority of them will not do it. Or rather, theft becomes a question of roleplay rather than a matter of course. Yeah, Mankind Divided sort of does this with its restricted areas, but they're pretty rare. And by the time they actually become an issue, you're thoroughly entrenched in the mindset of Everything that isn't nailed down is mine. As are some of the things that are. 